This is a really good question, and I had to put some thought into it because there's probably lots of different ways to answer this question. How can I use Google Drive as an e-library? Let me show you one example, and really it's only an example. There's probably lots of different ways of doing this, but let me show you an example that I came up with this morning. So here I am, I'm in my uh, Burris Consulting at gmail.com. This is the testing account that I use to do Google Drive and Gmail testing. I create a folder called eLibrary. Now in that folder, eLibrary, I have a series of other folders, article series number one, number two, number three, name them what you wanna name them. What I put in here is uh, some other ideas. I have a folder with Google Docs, and a folder of PDFs. Now in the Google Docs folder, there's two Google Docs. Notice when I click on article series number one, brings me back here. And in the PDF folder is PDF examples of those Google Docs. Now I'm gonna click on article series number one, brings me back here. If I click on e-library, it brings me back to the top. Now in article series number two, I put some different examples. I got Google Sheets, and I have Excel, Excel files. So in the Google Sheet folder, I have an initial sheet, and notice if I click on article series number two, I can go look at Excel files, and I have the Excel version of that Google file. Now again, these are just examples of how I can do it. Now, furthermore, I can go to a whole nother level by one. I can go back here to the eLibrary folder, right here, and in the eLibrary folder, I could set the sharing if I want. And I can share this in lots of different ways. Go find my videos and my content on how to share. But the easiest way could be anyone with a link can get access to this eLibrary. And I can give them all viewer, commenter, or editor. I'm going to leave it at viewer. And I'm going to hit done. So anybody who has the link to eLibrary can come see it. Now, how do I share the link? Again, if I hit the, sh uh, the share button right here, I can copy the link and I can share the link wherever or who with whomever I want. Furthermore, because I shared eLibrary, everything under eLibrary is also shared in the same way. If they had the link, then they can get to it. Let me show you, if I copy that link, let me go to an incognito window, put that link, and I have the link to anybody, I'm not logged into Google, so this means anybody, can get to this folder called eLibrary, can double click on, e, on article series number one, double click on Google Docs, and can actually double click and view that document. Close that come back, I can double click on this and view that document. Furthermore, because I didn't secure it, they have the ability to download it if they want or print it. So I made it fully accessible for them to get to. Again, all I did was back in, in at Burris Consulting at Gmail, I, I set the permissions on eLibrary under sharing so that anybody with the link can view it and furthermore, can download or print it. And again, because I of the sharing rights I set here, anything in this folder or subsequent folders is shared in the same way. Now, this could be a great way to create an e-library. Create a folder called your library, put subfolders in there that are relevant to topics or relevant to a discussion, or maybe relevant to a document type, and then put more documents in there, and then you can share it with anyone you want by giving them a link. Now note this, if you give someone a link, they can share that link with someone else, unless you share it directly. In, under eLibrary, I could have gone to sharing, and instead of setting sharing to anyone with the link, put it back to restricted right here, I could share it directly with an individual right here, and I can give that individual access to it, view, comment, or edit, and then I've created an e-library of folders and documents that can be shared with an individual. So there's lots of ways to do this. 
it's all going to be based on how you create your folder structure and your subfolder structure and what kind of documents you want to put in there. And then lastly, how you want to share it. Do you want to share the entire library? Do you want to share subfolders or maybe sub subfolders? Or do you want to share individual documents within your overall e-library? And last point is I can share that e-library with some who have the ability to edit slash create. I can share the e-library with some who have the ability to only view. And I can share different folders within the e-library in different ways with different people. An e-library in your Google Drive could be a great way to use Google Drive to deliver or share content with groups of people. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.